Have you ever wanted to have your lights go wherever you need them to go without it risking falling in the dirt, on the ground, in the sand, and not having to do natural light because of the many reasons why you may not want to do natural light? Well, okay, this is the video for you. Hey, this is Scott Wenkiewicz, a storyteller with the camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're going to be talking about light and how to make using artificial light more convenient for you. I offer a surprise proposal photography to clients here in New Jersey. And well, the problem is, is that when you're doing a surprise proposal session, you are always doing it with natural light. The last thing, the last thing you're going to do is use a flash or strobe or whatever it is to illuminate your subjects when it's supposed to be a surprise. And when it comes to this, I don't always want to bring lights with me when I'm not going to use it for the main job at hand. But I offer mini engagement sessions right after the proposal. It's about 15, 20 minutes long. And quite often, you run into an issue where you have to use a reflector because there's not enough light or there's weird shadows, you need to add more light in. And then it's just a process. And if you don't have an assistant with you, it just makes it even more complicated. What I wound up doing is I came up with a solution that works for me to make one light, it's a wireless off camera light that works perfect for my situation and I can move it and it's not gonna hit the ground. Here is what I did. Right here, you can see I have a tripod. This is a three section leg tripod from Really Right Stuff. Right now I have two sections open. When I go three sections, it goes over my head. Plus I have this center column, which you can see as well, that has a hook on the bottom that I can raise up if I needed to go even higher, which immediately makes this fantastic to use as a light stand. But you might be asking, it's a tripod. It's not a light stand. So how do you get a light on the tripod? What you could do is you can take the tripod plate, you can get yourself an extra tri tripod plate and screw in a spigot for a light to attach to. This is great, and I was gonna do that until I realized Westcott actually makes a product that solves this for me. This is the Westcott M6, and it's exactly that. It's literally a spigot welded to a plate. And this plate happens to be an Arca Swiss or RC2, which is what Manfrotto uses. So this works on practically any tripod that you could buy these days. This actually sells for $25, and I wanted to show this to you. You could do this yourself. You'd have to buy an extra plate, which could be 15, 20 bucks, depending. And then you have to get yourself a spigot, which I've got a whole collection of them, so that wouldn't be a problem. And then you just make sure it's securely in there. This, I think, is screwed in and then welded on top of it. I, it's, I'm not gonna break it apart to find out. But what you do is you literally just have to put this on top of your tripod and then screw in or clamp it down, and now it's solid like a rock. It's in there, it's not going anywhere. You're done. Go on with your day. You got this here. Now it's time for the light. You've gotta get the light on here. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be using the Godox 8600 Pro. This is a really powerful strobe, and you can see I actually took the reflector off of this, which you'll see why in a second. You can see it's now on there. I can now actually use my ball head to actually adjust. I can actually pan it, I can even loosen the ball head itself and I can tilt the light in any direction I want without having to use the up down that is built into this light. In the past, I have used soft boxes, I use umbrellas and the problem with those is they become sails. You get one big gust of wind and now this whole thing, your light stand is going over. Yes, that is less likely to happen when you're using a tripod, but it will still happen if the wind is strong enough. So instead of using a soft box or an umbrella, I decided to go a different route. This is a different reflector. It does not come with this light. This is a seven inch reflector, it's a deep reflector. And what it allows you to do is actually uh, increase the light output. It's going to increase the light output, make it go further and a little bit wider than the default reflector that comes with this. This one is actually a Bowens mount as well and it just snaps right on. So now the reflector is on here and I actually have a diffusion screen that came with this reflector. Just it's just sort of elastic right on the outside so that the reflector is stay this so that the diffuser is staying on the reflector. Now I've got a very powerful diffused light that is sturdy on a tripod that is not a sail if the wind picks up. It's not going over. And worst case, I can take my backpack off my back that has my extra lens, my extra camera body, and actually put it on the hook underneath the tripod for extra weight for the tripod. 
and I can actually take my spiked feet for the tripod, screw them into the bottom, dig that into the sand or the dirt, wherever I am, and now that tripod is not going anywhere. But at the same time, when I need to move, I could just throw it over my shoulder, move, and then go to, go to where I need to go, take it back off my shoulder, open the legs, and put it right back down. Done. So the beautiful thing about this setup is that I use a Nikon Z7 II for most of my portrait work. And this is the trigger, the remote trigger for the Godox light. It just goes right on like it would a flash and I can control the light wirelessly, trigger the light wirelessly from here. And, and it is TTL, so I can either um, set it up manually and just have the manual, you know, manual light output or I can set a TTL and let the camera tell the light what to output. And I can do high speed sync, which is even better, so that if I'm in harsh sunlight, I can easily overpower the sun using high speed sync and fast shutter speeds to ensure that I'm getting beautiful light output and beautiful portraits in the end. So this is my new unique <laughs> uh, off camera light setup that I cannot wait to use. I just tested it out on my daughter and it worked really well. It works with two people. I wouldn't suggest doing this for a lot of people because it is not spreading the light out too much, but it is doing it just enough and yeah, it's fantastic. So there you go. I'm gonna to link to all the products in this in the description down below, except the tripod because, well, just pick up a tripod or use whatever tripod you have already. There you go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe. Be sure to karate kick the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.